Miss Williams, Commander, uh -oh. we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. I should have seen this coming. <laughs> I am afraid it was inevitable. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Uh-oh. Jealous? Oh. Of you? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And we are back on Pharos for what is likely to be the last time. This should be the conclusion of the Pharos missions. This is Hill, and we're here again with Commander Sindarius Shepard, Dr. Liara Tassoni, and Tali Zora Naraya. Okay, in our last episode, we fought off wave after wave of Thorian creepers. We witnessed the suicide of Fidan. We saved all 16 colonists using the anti-Thorian gas that we put in our gas grenades. Or our just regular grenades, but outfitted with anti-Thorian gas. And that looks like Fidan's corpse over there. He shot himself in the head. You know, that happens quite a bit here in Mass Effect. All right. It's time to face the Thorian. I've been putting it off for long enough, but let's go. Look at all these Paragon points I got. I might have to edit them and take them out. <laughs> oh, that's that's the the beauty of playing on the PC. But I'm kind of joking. I don't know if I'd actually subtract my Paragon points. Like they say in another video game, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh my goodness, what is that thing? Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it's... Kira, what is that? Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I will destroy you! You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth! Okay, a sorry clone. I think you need to take a dive. Liara with me with throw. Alright, she's dead. Alright, we'll just shoot him. Whoa, whoa, and they're throwing up. Well, Yara's 
your throwback already? Ouch! Seriously, one hit? And they nearly killed me? Okay, don't let them touch you, people. Tally, let's see what damping really does to these things. It does weaken them considerably. Alright. Do you believe this? How badly injured I was. Wow. Alright, so... That thing's not speaking anymore. All right, what are we supposed to do now? Is my um, I'm waiting for my meta gel to recharge. Over here, Commander. Definitely something different in this area. Yeah, Tally, like what? I think you're pulling my leg. There's nothing over here. All right, meta gel, please. Thank you. All right, this is where we need to be, over here, with the Thorian Neural Node. All right, Neural Node destroyed. That had the desired effect, I believe. A few more and it will be severely hurt. Okay. Watch out, these things could come alive at any time. Uh oh. Alright, be careful, people. A sorry clone. Can you dampen her tally? Liara, let's use overload to take off her shields. And I will use warp. Got her. that wave under control. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, wow. Oh, here they come. It's time for some singularity. Survived another wave. Let's check out this uh, locker over here. Got it. All right, an Avalanche 7 shotgun, a Harpoon 8 sniper rifle, and a Reaper 8 sniper rifle. Okay. Can we save? We can. Okay, let's go. Is this the right way? Oh, here's the node right here. They're behind us. I think. No, they're not behind us. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. Oh, we got the Asari clone back. Dampen her abilities, Tally. Liara, take off her shields. And I'm using warp. Alright, we got her. We still got these creepers, though. Be careful. really make a great team. Get this node. Take your throw. And tally just some overload for effect. Uh oh, it's the Asari. Dampen her. Oh, uh, could use stasis, but no. Overload. Warp. She get away. Got more. All right, I guess we must have gotten the clone. Looks like there's another, yes, a medical station up here. Oh, what? Go ahead, Metagel. All right, so we have Light Turian Armor Phoenix 7 and Light Corian Armor Phoenix 8. Tally, where are you? an upgrade for you. Slight upgrade, yes. Looks exactly the same though, but better shields. Alright, let's save. They're all 
all together, Liara. coming from All right, they must be up above us then come on mm. oh, oh. <laughs> look out it's the Asari oh my god really really So, just, just one hit. Alright, we can't let these things touch us. Come on. Heads up. Look out. I'm sorry, that's the best I could do for you. Okay, let's save here. Alright, the Asari clone is out here. Should be able to just get rid of this one by throwing it off the... Yeah. We are, if you could do the same. Okay, well, it didn't quite... All right, there's the clone. All right, dampen her. Overload her. And I'm gonna warp her. Okay, we got her. All right. Perimeter clear. Where's the node? Right here.
these things. All right, Liara, lift them. And there's more. All right, sabotage seems to be just as good as anything else. Let's see if this meta gel will help you guys. Helps Liara. I don't know what's wrong with you, Tally. Come on. All right, we need another save. Killed me. See if I can take out the node. Mm. All right, Liara. Get that node? I don't think I got it. Or did I? No. Alright. There we go. I should thank you for releasing me. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari Matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Yeah. Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers, and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. 
Just give me some plain answers. Where is the cipher? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Mm -mm. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known space-faring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating, its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. 
And now it is gone. Hmm. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Hmm. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable, but you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. Oh my goodness. I mean, these, these decisions... Oh... All right, I hate to do this and I hate to see this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play him as ruthless. You change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. Alright, well I did recoup some renegade points. Wow. That was something else. I mean, to just shoot a woman like that in the back of the head. It takes a lot out of you. You won't recognize this place when we're done. I hope I don't, because this place looks terrible. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Okay, I think we can head back to the... Wait a minute, there's an exclamation point. What is this? Who was this? Oh, this guy again? Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. Okay. I don't see anybody else. Must have been him. Okay, let's go. And let's see, does this... Is, yeah, the Solarian is still here. Does he have anything better to offer now? I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Wow, he doesn't have anything. I mean, maybe the Stiletto 9 pistol. Okay. No thank you. Alright, let's go. Well, that was a pretty lengthy, um... mission here. But it's one that I truly enjoy. I enjoy doing this one. I think pretty much all the missions I enjoy. The, the story missions. I think the, the least, the one that I enjoy the least is coming up with the, the Gath and the Armstrong Nebula having to go from planet to planet. But for the most part, I really, I really enjoy the missions, it's like, enjoy the story, like, I was very quiet back there when he was talking to Shiala, the Asari that he executed in cold blood, I mean, it's just, the, the story is riveting.
Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. I'm surprised Liara didn't have anything to say about Shepard shooting one of her fellow in progress. beings, one of her fellow species. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the siphon? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. Mm. How do you think I feel? Wow. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Okay. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> Incredible. Mm -hmm. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. Really? The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Uh-oh. Shepard's feelings are rising to the surface. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. <laughs> the only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. Goodbye, Counselor. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. We lost that connection. Miss Williams, Commander, uh -oh. we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Um, I didn't think that I had gotten that close to Ashley. We really hadn't... I guess we talked a lot. And Liara still needed time. I should have seen this coming. <laughs> I am afraid it was inevitable. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Uh-oh. Jealous? Oh. Of you? You're not even our species. Mm. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smartassing me, I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. I love it when women fight over me. Sorry, Commander. That fantasy is not gonna happen. <laughs> We're not married, Shepard. You wanna get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. 
Why do I have to make a choice? Maybe the three of us could... Uh... In your dreams, Commander. I hope you two, or however many you end up with, will be happy together. If you don't mind, I need to clean my gear. Hmm. Okay. I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. Ash is pretty tough. She'll be fine. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but... I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more... private conversation. Okay. And so, the drama on the Normandy. I mean, I, I just don't... I'm speechless. I didn't, I didn't think I would get ambushed like that so uh, soon. I wasn't prepared for that at all. But hey, Shepard tried. He tried to have both of them. And I don't recall him consciously choosing Liara over, oh my goodness, Ashley. But anyhow, I think the problem is solved. I mean, we knew from the beginning that uh, Shepard was sweet on Liara. And now he can pursue his um, affections with her. But all that will be coming in upcoming episodes of the original Mass Effect. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>